Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. I know it's been a while, but uh, my life has been a bit hectic lately. We've had injuries and stuff in the family, and so we're finally getting to the end of that part of our, um, you know, everybody's healing and stuff like that. And then of course I'm taking care of my neighbor. So I've been quite, busy with doctor's appointments and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. And I just, you know, I'm doing kind of like a little $5 sale. So um, I'll just um, sell a few or these items for $5 a piece. If you like it, send me an email to jandapanda at comcast.net. And uh, first come, first serve. Um, so anyway, we can all get started. And some of you may have seen these pieces before in my live shows. And um, in the U.S., postage is starts at $6. Anything over a pound is $9 priority. Um, and like I said, it starts at $6. Um, and then international starts at $15, which is typically first class to Canada. So... I can always send you a freight quote. I do ship internationally to those who accept U.S. mail. Anyway, so on with the show. Anyway, at first I wanted to show you this. This is not for sale yet. This is really cool. This is uh, pewter. Um, it is a evened or e e v what ivened ivened i e i v i n d Hillstad Modernist Pewter. So there's the back. It does need, this is a pendant, it does need a, some sort of a chain or cord or, you know, choker kind of thing. But I thought these were beautiful. And I believe they are all marked. Let me get my loop. I'm talking about being prepared. E.H. Pewter, I believe. Yeah, this one's marked. Oh, no, it's not. I can't really tell. But you know that it's part of the set. Um, but this one is marked. I don't know if you can see the marking there. E.H. Anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool, and I picked that up, and I'm really happy about that. So, um, do a little more research on that, and get back to maybe some sort of a live show, or um, maybe a private, I mean, um, another video. So we shall see. We shall see what happens with that. Okay, so everything from this point on is going to be $5. So I have got, oh, what is it? About, I don't know, 28 minutes, because I like to keep these videos short. Let's see how this goes. It's a pretty necklace, and it looks intact. There's no marks, but it's really pretty. It feels like it's well made. And um, all those teardrops. So yeah. And it does have an extender. I don't think, do I have a measuring device? Let's do quick measurements. Yes, I do. Yeah, there's no maker's mark on this. There's the back. You can see there's zero wear on this thing. Pretty necklace. Triple chain. So yeah, $5. So email me, jandapanda at comcast.net if you're interested in any of these items. I'll be happy to sell them to you. First come, first serve. So this one has a span of all right, something happened to this. There we go. So how has everybody been? It goes from 
16 to looks like 18 inches on this pretty piece. So timestamp, if you want this one, timestamp it. Send me the timestamp and I will put that either aside for you or um, if you want me to hold it for you, but yeah. So yeah, take a good look. In this bag. Oh, Charming Charlie. $12. Like I said, everything here is going to be $5 if you're interested. I don't know. Is, uh, no, this Charming Charlie has a tag here. What does the tag say? $18. So here, you can have a Charming Charlie. Somebody put it down for $12. Can have the whole set for five dollars. That's a twofer, actually. So yeah, it's real pretty. It looks like it is. Let me see if it says anything on here. And it doesn't have the length, of course. It says distributed by Charming Charlie, Houston, Texas. That's the distribution. Some interesting beads. Um, so it looks like it's about a drop of 16 and a half inches, maybe more because of this part here. Kind of deceptive, but it's a long one. And it has these like little cute beads. $5. There's some time on the video. Let's do this first. This is um, Lucky Brand. It's marked right there. And it has these um, kind of pearlescent. I don't know. They feel like they might be glass. No, they, they might be plastic or acrylic. But it is, it's one of those clampers. And it does say Lucky Brand on the inside. And your measurement is going to be, I would call this a little under two and a half, which might fit a smaller wrist, but then it's all relative because since it's a clamper, it should fit nicely. That's pretty. $5 on a Lucky. So yeah, email me. My email is in the title of this video. Oh, I do want to show off this ring. I got this months ago from Gina Gay, and it's a fidget spinner. I love it because it's multi, um, multi. It's um, mid-century modern. I just love that, and it's a larger size. So, and she wears tiny, so she probably would have kept it if it would have fit her fingers. But yeah, you can have. Just a little fidgety thing. But yeah, it looks so mid-century, modernist. And then this ring I got from Denim to Diamonds. Amethyst. And this one, I've always had this on since I got it out of a blue box. That's a sapphire diamond and sterling. I think it's sterling. Um, I did test it, but you know, this is this is one of those things that you, the first thing you find that's got some value to it, and then it, you, you just latch on to it. Look what I found. And of course, my wedding ring. But anyway, so that's my little story there, a little break in the action. All right, 
Let's see what we got here. This is interesting, a pair of earrings. Do they have, oh, I know where the other one of these is. It's on the table, so there might be a full pair here. Okay, I can run and grab it. <laughs> Never fails. All right. So I have a bag of earrings. These are pretty. Look at those. Let's see if there's any marks on them. Oh yeah, there's a mark on this one. So it might be Joan Rivers. I don't know. Can't see it that well. Let's see if I can find a loop in here somewhere. I know I have a loop. Yes, here's one the backup loop. Let's see. No arrows. It's like totally stuck. All right. Well, that didn't work. I just want to keep going. I want to keep going. I want to keep going. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I can get this thing to open. Pardon the noise. Usually they just slide out. Yes, they do, see? Probably needs batteries, but at least I could probably try and figure out who this is. And of course. Oh, they're Trafari earrings, nice. So those are in the bag. These are Trafaris. Probably could use new backs. And like I said before several times, um, I would really clean these with um, some alcohol. Okay, this one's missing a stone. So there is a stone missing. What is this one? These are not missing stones. Those are pretty. No marks. Those are in the bag. Oh, this one, these are cute little drops. Lightweight little acrylic drops. Plastic. Nice. Lay them down like that so you can see them. And then there's these. These are cute. A lot of this is costume, but those are pretty little dangles. I know where this other earring is, so, and it's, it spins any marks on it. It has an S on it. This could be Swarovski. Go find the other earring. That's a cute little ring. There's this one. And also in the bag. This looks like it matches a pair of those earrings in there. This one says Charming Charlie. So that's probably a Charming Charlie pair of earrings. 
And then this also has a mark. This is also Charming Charlie. And let's see. And this has like a little doodad here. There is an extender. So it just has that. Let me go find that other earring. If it's a Swarovski, then, you know, the whole bag's $5. There's the other one. So we will do this whole bag here. This one's five dollars. With the trafari that has missing us that is missing a stone. Sometimes you can't tell, so let's see what else we've got here. See how much I can do in 15 minutes. Don't forget, do a timestamp or a screenshot. Oh, what is this? Express. That's cool. All these loops or circles, circles and chains and things with an extender. So that probably sits high on the neck. The reason why I'm not doing a lot of measuring is because I just want to show as much jewelry as I can. So there's that. Here's the other side. I'm gonna have to. There we go. So welcome to my thrift shop. <laughs> Five dollars. Oh, I see some more lucky. Let's get lucky. lucky brand just that you know I don't I mean look at that I mean their quality is there cute little clover four-leaf clover I love this chain feels so so nice this one has a price of original price $34.50 down to $24.95 and to my subscribers by the way if you aren't subscribed please subscribe and I hit the like button. I always like the like button. Just gets my video out to more people. Um, anyway, so this is new with tag. I love the finishes too. They have a nice finish. So, five dollars. Here we go. I am. Um, for some reason, I had stacks of boxes, and they're all empty. This one's not. It's in here. I don't want to... Nope, empty. So I have a stack of boxes. How about them apples? All right. What else have we got here? I think I see some. Some more goodies. This looks like it, it, you know, jade chips and uh, opalite. Quick measure. It has this kind of a clasp. It looks like it's artisan made, um, but it's nice. It's it's got good flow to it. has these cage beads right there. So this one's about 14 inches. Make sure that that hooks correctly. Kind of like to pinch that down so it's not so easy to... So anyway, $5. Mm, 
bring them all in bags so I don't get tangled up again. Right, I think this is another Lucky Brand. Beautiful piece, of course. This is dyed halide, I'm sure. But look at the other side. This has some, looks like some wear, but, and then it, it closes in the front. But here's your little Lucky. Four leaf. And sometimes I see a Lucky Brand on here, but I don't see, oh yeah, there it is, Lucky Brand, right there. On the toggle, quick measurement. Uh, wearable is 15 inches. And then there's the back again. $5, and don't forget, screenshot or timestamp is always helpful. Because if you're watching this, you can just jot down your timestamps. And I think there might be something that goes with this. I don't see it here. Oh, here. Is this it? Yeah, another lucky brand right there. Oh, that's pretty. Probably more dyed halite. Quick measurement. Fourteen and a half. I don't see a, a hang tag other than the clover. This does, what does it say on the inside? What, I found my, found my loop, my favorite one. It says, lucky you. Some of you who are familiar with Lucky Brand, this is kind of in that old font. So I don't know, it could be vintage Lucky, but I'm selling it as a set. And this one should fit a seven. Yeah, two and a half inches across. Slides on me just fine. So there you go, $5 on a lucky set. I'm wondering if I should clickbait you now for Safari Lucky in, this, in the title. <laughs> when they've only got like more lucky than I do Safari. What's going on here? Yeah, another lucky piece. Tangled mess. I'm just gonna keep checking my time here. Ah, a few more minutes. It's just a t it's quicker to upload. I might do a couple of these videos, like five dollar sale one, five dollar sale two, because I do have quite a bit here, and I do want to clear out some of this inventory of wearable nice jewelry. Keep it moving, right? But yeah, my my April, my May, and most of my June already is kind of um, in a bad way. And uh, so I'm trying to rebuild and, you know, get my, get my subscribers back. All right, this is pretty. Look at those ringlets. And it is a lucky brand. And right now it is sitting at a wearable of probably nine inches. There's not much room left, so that's the longest. But yeah, look at the pretty, pretty chain. So oh, yeah, five dollars. Each of these bags is five dollars. Alrighty. Wow. This is um 
probably another Lucky's piece. Yeah, it looks like I got a pile of Lucky's here. I think I did show some of these on one of my lives. And um, let's see if I can get this undone in a timely fashion. So I like this necklace, this is pretty. This actually could go with that first bracelet that I showed. Yeah, there we go. I just like it when it, undone, it un, undoes itself, or I undo it quickly. Yes. All right. So here is the pendant. It's on a bale. It's on a bale, <laughs> double bale. And then here's the chain, chain's in nice shape. And here is the four leaf clover. And your overall measurement is, or not overall, this is wearable, is 15 inches in the pendant, adds and brings it to a total length of, uh, these sizes are approximate, so 18 inches. There you go, five dollars on, and there's the back. Yeah, this kind of does go with that. So if you pick up the the bracelet, maybe you can catch this because this is reversible. This has like little waves. So cool. I like it. Oh, it feels so good to do this. Oh my gosh. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera. There we go. All right, what is this stuff? What is this stuff? Any more luckies? Be nice to take care of my lucky customers. Oh, what is this? This one says, doesn't say lucky. Looks like it says loft. No, it's a Stella and Dot. This is one of those multi-level marketing, I believe, just from jewelry parties. And who is this? This is pretty. This is another lucky brand. That's a charming Charlie. All right. This one is kind of cool because this one, the beads slide. They slide on a chain. That's really pretty. Push those aside because I like this one. I like, I like things that you can play with <laughs> while you're wearing them. Where's the end? End, please. Where to go? Here we go. say that they're distributed from Houston, Texas. Right, right, you remember that part of the video, right. All right, what's going on here? We've got issues. There we go, almost. And it slides off. Oh yeah, you can close that gate, honey. Yeah, I'm doing a video. Elaine just dropped in. <laughs> Hello. So this one's approximately 18, I'll just say approximately 18 inches. It's got the blue faceted sparkly beads. So they are five dollars. And I'm gonna pair that with the Stella and Dot bonus. That's kind of an interesting one. It's asymmetrical, I think. Yeah. Really cool. So, yeah, $5. I'm almost finished. Got one more, and then I'm gonna, I'll probably do another video if I can. Get this one uploaded. Call it part one, and this is another lucky piece. It is cute. Is it turquoise? It's not, it's probably dyed howlite, which is a kind of, it's, 
I, I, it looks like white turquoise, mm. but it's dyeable, mm. so they dye it. Because turquoise, you know, I mean, especially the good pieces of turquoise, you can't really find those anymore. Um, I mean, you probably could, but it takes a bit um, of, but mostly um, the older pieces have the larger chunks of turquoise. Mm. So, uh, in good condition, you know. This, nothing's missing out of that. This has, this probably extends, this is fully extended to nine inches. So yeah, another lucky piece. So this will be the last piece of this video. Uh, Timestamp, screenshot, email, jandapanda at comcast.net. Shipping in the U.S. is starts at 6. International starts at 15. So thank you all for watching and be on the lookout for number two. Fingers crossed I can get that done.